welcome back to UC Star Astrology's. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is Astrology Forecast for Gemini, June 2016. So, let us start with this party. <laughs> Geminis, there are a lot of Geminis out there who are celebrating their birthday, so happy birthday to you all. And I too have my birthday in Gemini, but I won't tell you what day. <laughs> I have to keep some secrets as an Ascendant Scorpio. But here in Austria, I'm also an Ascendant Pisces, okay? So, we have Venus and Sun sitting in Gemini since the end of, or the 24th and the 20th of May. And so there is a lot of, um, a lot of people just really paying attention to us Geminis. Um, it gives us Venus in the first house within your ascendant. Makes you want to do things to your hair or to have a makeover and it's the best time to do a makeover. And I've been thinking about cutting a little bit on my hair here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me whether you want my hair to see my hair shorter or not, but I won't cut it really short. I've always had long hair. Long, straight, and simple. <laughs> okay, and Sun here is wanting to um, also, um, you're, you're really wanting to change your, your appearance here, but this is harmonious energy with authoritative figures and um, yeah, if you have a cop friend <laughs> you might be you might be uh, magnetizing police to stop you and then you just get your flirt on like <coughs> did I was I driving too fast officer? <laughs> Because Sun is this authoritative figure, and yes, it could also be a boss. So this is great energy to get along with your boss and to communicate. So you're feeling very intelligent during this time. Then we have a new moon in on the 4th of June. So this is wanting um, this energy really wants to create a new identity almost like wanting to recreate yourself it's like a new you <laughs> you'll see me next month with a mohawk <laughs> no, no I won't the, there's no Uranus energy in here at all so thank goodness <laughs> Or we'll be, we won't be too eccentric. No, we will be very blessed with Venus sitting here in Sun when we do our makeover and the new moon as well. So uh, this energy is shining, aspecting the seventh house of relationship. So it is a very, um, very possible that we are going to find ourselves meeting someone um, that we get along with very well, someone who could um, um, yeah, be our next relationship if you are single. Otherwise, this is really um, helping you, you to shine within the, the, within your, within the eyes of your partner and just getting that twinkle in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yes, this is also a wonderful energy for you to get along with your siblings and, and uh, your neighbors as well, okay? And Geminis usually do get along with their neighbors and their younger siblings. And the fourth of June, and it depends on your natal chart too, unless you have the south node sitting here, then you won't, <laughs> then, then that's another thing, so, 
On the 4th of June, um, you have a, uh, I already shared that, a new moon. And the 12th of June, Mercury enters Gemini as well. So now this is time to get your flirt on if you are single. <laughs> time to, this is great energy to go online and to get to know someone online if you are single. Or it is your your salesmanship qualities are really beaming out there. Okay, so if you're wanting to, if you're a salesman in any shape or form, this is great energy. Okay, um, to get into any kind of contract, especially because Venus is here, Venus and Mercury. This is like wanting to get into some kind of a love contract and the new moon aspecting Venus and Sun, okay? Then on the 13th of June, Neptune goes retrograde in Pisces within your 10th house. And Neptune tends to make us want to hope and wish and want to make our dreams come true. And so I have to say, it has been blessing me a lot. Neptune it has to do with spirituality and Pisces too, in the tenth house. So, um, yes, I have my YouTube channel as an astrologer, and I finally was able to make it happen. On the, I started in July of 2015, and it's slowly but surely. <laughs> <laughs> making its way into the eyes of YouTubers. Yes, and when it goes retrograde, there may be things that, that you were disillusioned about. Like, for instance, I was taking a class where um, I, I took a, a class having to do with herbology, and everyone was saying, you're not going to make any money in regards to herbology. And I thought, well, I can combine it with astrology. <laughs> and so that's what I've been doing. I use this knowledge a lot as an extra for my astrology clients. And so I was very adamant about that because um, my moon in Virgo just made me want to do this and uh, learn herbology. But, um, I th everyone was thinking I was disillusional and that's this Neptune energy where where you don't care what anyone says you just have your hopes and dreams and you, you just go for it and then when Neptune goes retrograde it's a time for you to see okay where um, have you been disillusioned within your career and to get on track before Neptune goes forward okay Okay, so on the 17th of June, Venus enters Cancer in your third house. Um, no, I didn't correct this. In your second house. Um, so, we have, uh, we have here, um, money is flowing to you. So, this is great energy um, in regards to... Um, your income or uh, in regards to um, the things that you own, okay, like your, um, yes, your, your house or your car, okay, with Venus here, it's, um, it's just great energy, so in cancer so it, this is good energy if you're wanting to buy a new car and not that everyone has money to buy a new car <laughs> but venus will will help um it's just it's it's great energy so <laughs> for home okay and to communicate very well and lovingly um within within your home and um and having money flow to you. On the 17th of June, Saturn squares Neptune. So Saturn is sitting in your seventh house, squaring Neptune within your 10th house. So 
So some kind of boundaries are going to be dissolving here um, um, in regards to, there may be some challenges in regards to any kind of contracts, any kind of business contracts. Um, yes. Um, that's not like news I want to hear either, so I'm really sorry about this. Um, but there is going to be some, some where your eyes are going to be open, where you've been disillusioned and um, about a certain contract uh, that you wanted to, to have. And um, yes, this is, uh, sometimes we just have to wake up and smell the coffee and <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm thinking myself too. I'm in the same boat as you, as you all are. Okay, on the 20th of June, Sun enters Cancer. So this is in your second house. Again, Sun is wanting to work for you, that you do earn money. So even if this contract, um, it comes to doesn't make itself possible it's something whatever happens on the 17th of june with saturn and neptune clashing in your with regards to your career and contracts or business partners or um or even your romantic partner clashing with your career okay that is also possible it depends if you're married <laughs> um, or have a romantic partner where um, where you're clashing here um, with them. But then when we have the sun entering in Cancer within your second house, you still have the blessings here. Venus is here. Sun is here. Um, and also Mercury is in your uh, first house working for you as well so you're able to uh, have uh, interviews if you're wanting to find work or for money to flow to you you're still universe is still working for you okay then we have a full moon on the 20th of june in sagittarius within your within your seventh house okay so this is this is great because um this is promising the seventh house has to do with love and relationships and business relationships and contracts so if there was a contract that didn't work out for you on the 17th of June, you have another possibility on the 20th of June. And it's all, it is also, if you had clashes with, with that romantic partner, it's possible full moon has to do with um, endings, okay? So it's possible that something is ending here in a relationship, okay? Or if it is a a strong relationship then it will just um, culminate more okay so then we have on the 26th of June Jupiter trines Pluto this is happening within your fourth and your eighth house okay oh my leg is falling asleep <laughs> Okay, so uh, that feels much better. <laughs> okay, so um, yes, it's not easy sitting on these flowers. <laughs> okay, so we have a Jupiter training Pluto. Jupiter is sitting within your fourth house. Yes, and Pluto sitting in your 8th house. Pluto belongs in the 8th house, so this is very transformative. And um, Jupiter is blessing that you 
receive money from other resources, perhaps other people. And um, it could be also uh, coming from in-laws or it could where you're receiving help from in-laws or government. Maybe you get your income tax return and yay, yahoo. <laughs> okay, and it's, it's in a plus. Um, or people are just wanting to give you money and I know that's a fact because for me <laughs> I'm already getting uh, my family's wanting to visit me to visit and wanting to um, yes finance everything for me to go visit them in the States so that's a possibility here is that the, the talk continues and it, with Jupiter trying Pluto that that you are blessed here mm, or you could be receiving presents because um, it is uh, lots of Gemini's are having birthdays here okay and then we have Chiron retrograding in Pisces within your 10th house so any hardships that you have been having within your 10th house okay and this I have as well living at okay Pisces has to do with living out of the country and I live in Austria out of the states and it wasn't easy <laughs> with the 10th house has to do with your career and it wasn't easy making my way and um um, getting my career started after my after my divorce <laughs> and so yes I had Chiron was showing me lots of lessons here and now it's going retrograde yahoo <laughs> it couldn't get better <laughs> so it's like it lessens its hold on you of m making things difficult within your career house and um, things have been much better, but it was also because Saturn was in in Scorpio. <laughs> so I had lots going on with Chiron and Pisces, and so two, two very strong ascendants going through difficulties. Now we have also on the 29th of June, Mercury entering Cancer within your second house. So Mercury is now helping you if you need to have any interviews. Mercury is really helping you to sell yourself and to show your worth um, to your to whoever is um, um, interviewing you. You're, this is great energy so that you're able to have money flow to you. This is also great energy to working at home um, like on the internet and and um, gaining um, money so you who for me because <laughs> I would yes if you need a if you need a personalized astrology reading then <laughs> you know where to find me you see star astralis at gmail.com okay and then we have on the 29th of June, Mars going direct in Scorpio within your sixth house. Okay, so Mars in Scorpio in the sixth house, it could, this is energy where you could be doing detective work, okay, or um, this is um, energy where you could be doing astrology work and Mars going retro here could make you very um, it, it, it makes a person really think within about their work and um, um, Mars is usually a go-getter but when it's going when it when it is um, going um, backwards 
it is also very spiritual where it's wanting you to look within and see uh, how you can do or how you can be better in regards to your work and your health. And um, so, yes, this is in your sixth house. And it also has to do, yes, you do have to be careful when Mars is going retrograde in regards to your health that you protect yourself, okay, because Mars playing, Mars has to do with genitals and Scorpio does too, Scorpio is a sex house, so please think about protecting yourself, if you are single, um, just know who you are going to bed with, okay, <laughs> and, and, uh, yes, <laughs> It's all I have to say is just protect yourself. Put a condom on it. <laughs> okay. So, this was the astrology for Gemini, June 2016. I hope you liked it. If you did, then please like, share, and subscribe. And contact me if you wish to have your astrology read by me. And it could also be in video form. So, I hope to hear from you soon. Until then, bye.